It is my honor as the President of the European Court of Human Rights to congratulate the Government of Japan on the 25th anniversary of gaining observer status to the Council of Europe. While the Council of Europe has close links with numerous non-member states, only five states hold the status of observer within the organization. It was in November 1996 that Japan embarked on a journey of cooperation and dialogue with the Council of Europe as the Committee of Ministers acknowledged that Japan was willing to accept the same ideas and values of the organization, human rights, democracy, and the rule of law. Over the last 25 years, Japan has sent observers to a great many steering and ad hoc committees, such as the Steering Committee for Human Rights, the Committee on Bioethics, and the Committee of Legal Advisors on Public International Law, to name but a few. Japan has also participated in numerous committees set up following a resolution of the Committee of Ministers and has observer status with a number of partial agreements, including the European Pharmacopoeia and the European Commission for Democracy Through Law. In addition to this, Japan has also ratified four Council of Europe treaties, including the Convention on Cybercrime, which entered into force in November 2012. We have been fortunate at the European Court of Human Rights to have also benefited from Japan's very active involvement in the organization. Dialogue with national superior courts is of enormous importance to the European Court of Human Rights. This occurs both within the Council of Europe legal space and outside of it. We have privileged links with certain courts outside of Europe, and this includes the Supreme Court of Japan. I firmly believe that dialogue between judges brings us an informed and constructive discussion from our different perspectives, a sharing of experience, and a deeper understanding of the other's role in the protection of human rights. Over the years, we have been honored to host judges from the Supreme Court of Japan and other Japanese courts in Strasbourg. We have also very much appreciated the support of the Consulate General of Japan in organizing certain events at the court, for example, the conference organized in 2020 on women's human rights in cooperation with the René Cassin Foundation. I look forward to strengthening the judicial dialogue and cooperation between the European Court of Human Rights and Japanese courts in the years to come. I speak on behalf of all 47 judges of the court in wishing you again many congratulations on this important anniversary. Omedeto Goizaimazu.